Good afternoon, Terry here from the Traveling Kitchen, formerly the Two Rooster Farm. Um, today I'm back to make one of the recipes uh, from my cookbook. I was trying to figure out the date of the first cookbook I made and I know it was close to, um, I think 2001, my grandmother passed away. And when she passed away, I got most of her best of bridge cookbooks and just and all the recipes that she had and she would tuck them tuck them the pages of I guess she'd go buy nylons and the cardboard from the nylon she'd write all these recipes that she used to like and so it was quite a treasure when I got her books and I could see all the recipes and so at that point I thought well because I've got the recipe books I thought it'd be nice to be able to share some of the ones that my grandmother used to make so I made a book I went through my recipes, my mom's recipes, my aunt's recipes, my, like I had all my family, there was recipes in, in my grandmother's book, um, in, in those books that um, I wanted to share. So I started making cookbooks. And I used to say all occasion cooking and then I would, then years later I'd go, okay, well I have more recipes that I wanna add to this book. So then I started to just make, you know, addition, all occasion cooking, you know, 2006. And, 2013. Anyway, so, and then I have, just recently, just last year, I did Terry's Kitchen. But in that book, in the original book, was a recipe for bran muffins. And it was uh, a girlfriend of mine from work. I used to work in a laboratory. And she used to make these recipes and she used to bring them to work. And I tried one of them and I, I love bran muffins, you know, and it's so good. And just today, like shopping, to go shopping, it just costs a fortune. To buy a muffin can cost you sometimes $5 for a muffin. You know, if it's got raisins and nuts and, and things in it like that. Anyways, I think this one is just as good. And so today I'm gonna be making it, um, I'm gonna double the batch. Um, so I'm gonna give you the amounts for, if you just wanna do a single batch. So if you're noticing that I'm putting a lot more than I'm saying I'm putting in, it's because I'm doubling it. So let's get started. Okay, so first things, um, it calls for a cup of boiling water. So I'm gonna just turn my kettle on. And it also calls for buttermilk. I don't normally ever buy buttermilk. I just make my own from fresh milk. So I have, um, two cups of butter or two cups of whole milk here and I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons or a couple of teaspoons of vinegar and that's going to make it sour and, and be like butter milk. Okay, so it calls for three cups of bran. Sometimes bran is hard to find. We have a, 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 I guess it's a spice barn or bulk barn that we have here in Nanaimo. And so that's where I got it. So two, three, and because I'm doubling it, I'm adding six. Four, five. Okay, and now we need to add some boiling water. This is a dry measurement, but I'm using my, li my liquid measurement cup for the oil. So anyways, it's, if you're just using a single batch, it's one cup of boiling water, and I'm gonna be putting two because I'm doubling the batch. gonna stir this and then you're gonna set it aside until it cools. Just gonna mix it a little bit. Okay and then when, once it's cooled we're gonna add two lightly beaten eggs. A 
Okay, so while I'm waiting for the bran to uh, cool down a bit, I don't want to add my eggs just yet, you're going to prep in another bowl. Another bowl, you're going to add two and a half cups of flour. I'm adding five because I'm doubling it. I had it pre-measured. You're gonna add half a cup of sugar. And I'm adding, I'm gonna double check my recipe, yeah. Half a cup of white sugar, I'm adding a cup. And we're gonna add half a cup of blackstrap molasses. All right, so half a cup of molasses. While I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna turn my oven on. Now it says 425, which is quite a hot temperature. Uh, my oven is like extremely hot, so I'm probably gonna put it on for 400, but you decide if you know your oven. teaspoons of soda. Okay, so I just moved the camera because I think the light from the behind me was affecting the vision. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so I think this is cool enough. Yes, it's cool enough. I'm gonna add my eggs. So that was two eggs. The two cups of buttermilk. And of course it looks more because I've got four in here because I'm doubling the recipe. You can sort of see what the what that stuff, what the vinegar does, it makes it kind of curdle. So we're gonna add all the milk. There's gonna be a lot of bran muffins. I'm excited. Then you're gonna add half a cup of oil. I just use regular vegetable oil or peanut oil. Just as a cup because that's, I'm doubling the recipe. stir, combine everything. All right, so it's mostly combined, but I do have to stir it a bit because I'm gonna be adding my raisins and some nuts and some dates. So add whatever variety and whatever you want. If you don't like raisins, don't add raisins. I like them all. So I'm adding, I only have a cup of raisins. I would normally add a lot more than a cup. So we have a, some raisins here. I have some pecans, but you can add walnuts, any kind of nuts you prefer. And then I have just a little bit of chopped dates. Okay, I'm gonna just give that a stir. So I always prefer to use these little cupcake baking cups, just so, because I don't want the muffins to get stuck and I don't wanna to have to worry about greasing the pan. So I have a few here, I'm just gonna fill up my I'm not actually too sure how many this is gonna make. I know the recipe says two dozen. So if I'm right, I should have four dozen. 
but we'll see. And you're supposed to fill them quite full, the muffin cups quite full. So at the end, I will let you know how many it made. All right, now I'm just going to fill up the cups. So I'm putting about a cup in each in each one. We'll see how that works. It says to fill them quite full, so. And I'll carry on. All right, so I, I actually put a little bit less than a cup and there they are into the oven for 20 minutes. Alexa, set timer for 20 minutes. Good afternoon, Carrie. 20 minutes, starting now. Wait a bit. Okay, so I'm waiting for those to be in the oven. I think there's another like seven minutes or so. And when I was telling you how much I was putting in, I didn't put a cup in. I'm using a quarter cup, so I'm almost, almost using a half a cup of mixture. I ran out of cupcake liners, so I had to cut my own out of some parchment paper, which is not fun, but anyways, I just would rather them not stick to the bottom of the pan, so I'm gonna make the effort. Okay, so it's just got a few seconds. Alexa, turn off timer. Oh, they look nice. Beautiful. So this is two trays. <laughs> I have this much left. So I'm gonna be busy for a few hours. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna put these in the oven quickly. Alexa, set timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes, starting now. Well, when these, these have cooled down a bit, I'm gonna be having a cup of tea. I can't wait to have them. They look so good and they smell so yummy. Anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed watching me make one of my favorite recipes. Even though I haven't made it for a long time, I know I, that's why it was in my book because it's one of my favorite recipes. Thank you, Sue Newell, for sharing that recipe. I think it's, must be, it's over 25 years old. So anyways, I hope you enjoy that. And until next time, this is Terry here from the Traveling Kitchen, Warmly to Rooster Farm. Bye for now. It's really good. You're gonna enjoy it.